What's going on guys? I hope everybody's having a great day and welcome to a brand new episode of Movie Night with Zach. As today we're taking a look at a 2019, it's listed as a horror thriller and it's actually an adaptation of a book called Lords of Chaos. It's also the name of the film, Lords of Chaos. It's directed by Jonas Akerlund and it stars Rory Culkin, who is an actor I'm, I'm quite fond of. So I, uh, I want to go ahead and just say that this movie, it's centered around the um, the subgenre of heavy metal known as black metal. And that's actually a subgenre of heavy metal that I am quite a fan of. And it's centered around, back in the 1980s, there was this controversy that went on with black metal. And there was these, like, these bands like Dark Throne and... Uh, uh, Mayhem and Burzum and even it was even said that a uh, member of Emperor was involved in all this. There's this controversy with these church burnings and these murders and whatnot and just all this, all this nice family friendly stuff. So what I do know about this movie, well, actually, I, I don't know what I've heard. This is basically everybody I've asked about this movie. This movie is complete bullshit and it sensationalizes a tragedy. That's what I've been told by somebody. That That's not my words. That's somebody else's words. Um, so I've basically been told that there, there there is no accuracy, no historical accuracy here. And there's really no reason to even watch this movie. And the only reason I'm watching this movie, I never even really was bothered about watching it. But uh, my uh, friend Dylan Wolf said that he actually liked the movie. And he requested it that requested that I did this for a movie night with Zach. So I don't know what side of the camp I'm gonna fall on here. If it's not gonna if it's not gonna be accurate to its you know no what it's based around, which I don't know a whole lot about. I know the bare about the bare minimum of it. I mean I, I've read a little bit about it, but uh, there are, there are going to be things that I've read there that I am gonna be looking for in this movie and if it's not there well I don't know but I'm gonna try to try to watch this as more of just a movie than a faithful ad movie adaptation of a real a real uh, event so I don't know I think we're gonna go ahead and check out this movie though so let's go ahead and check out Lords of Chaos well as a horror movie fan it's nice to see some Michael Myers memorabilia hanging up on the wall I'll take it Wow, they're butchering one of Mayhem's best songs. After a year together in the house, we became close friends. I don't even know where to. <laughs> he could not hide his darkness and depression. They've actually managed to, within the first 15 minutes of the movie, butcher one of my favorite Mayhem songs. After a year together in the house, we are not off to a very good start. Well, I can tell you this. I really could have gone without seeing a, a cat hanging from a noose. And it looks like they're about to shoot a cat. That's nice. Real, real nice. Wow, I've just... The acting here is so wooden and stiff. I am not liking this movie. I was expecting more from Rory Culkin. Because I know that Rory Culkin is a capable actor. This is just the most stiff and wooden that I've ever seen him, along with everybody else in this fucking movie, act. And we're not even 20 minutes into this movie. I hope to God it gets better. I'll tell you what else I could have gone without seeing was just seeing a fully nude man walking in the in the woods. I could have gone the rest of my life without seeing that and I think that I would have been okay. And uh well the scene just ended. There was no no context to it. He just got naked and started walking okay. I'm really confused. 
really, really confused. Well, so far, the only thing, the only thing cool I can, I can say that I kind of like in this movie is, I think there's people wearing shirts of bands that I actually like, like Judas Priest and Obituary and Blasphemy, and that's really all this movie has going for it so far. There's just some recognizable bands, shirts that I see these these people wearing. Other than that, there's nothing really interesting about this movie at all. And this uh, band sounds like shit. I know the band's Mayhem, but uh, Mayhem in real life sounded a lot better than this live. Okay, well, I was definitely fucked up. I mean,. I guess I was kind of asking for that a little bit because I was saying that this movie was not interesting and nothing, nothing of any interest was happening. That was fucked up, man. That was, that was bloody. Oh, so, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, Dead. His, his name's Dead. Yeah, Dead is the one that just shot himself. Pretty fucked up. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Oh, this is supposedly where Euronymous took a picture of Dead's corpse to use as an album cover for the, for the, um, the record. That wasn't, as far as accuracy is concerned, that's a nice little touch here. For, you know, this movie is kind of lacking accuracy, but that was a nice little touch. Well, okay, I, I will give the, the film credit here. The... Bones that Euronymous made the necklace out of was Dead's bones, and that actually happened according to according to uh, certain people. The problem is that the acting in this scene was so stiff and so wooden. I, I it's the acting here that's killing this fucking movie for me. It's just the acting is so bad. You know. This movie is bad. This movie is bad. And history has been made in this freaking in this freaking uh series on this channel. This is the first time in the history of this series that a movie has been so bad that I need an alcoholic beverage, a beer to get through this fucking thing. Oh my god. Hell Satan! Hell Satan! Oh my god, I hate this. I hate everything about this. I know black metal people really hated death metal back in these days, but. Should I feel insulted for liking Morbid Angel? I mean, I like Morbid Angel. What the hell's wrong with Morbid Angel? Well, now I have witnessed Varg and Euronymous burning down the church, and quite frankly, I don't care. I just simply don't care. This movie is giving me nothing to care about. Obviously, this is an attempt to sensationalize a real event, so if you're not going to be 100% factual with this, then at least make this an enjoyable movie on its own. And they're not even doing that. Like, literally, they burnt down a church, and this should have been exciting, and it just, it wasn't. Nothing about it was, was exciting. And I, I've still got almost an hour left of this to go. Well, I've witnessed a pretty gruesome murder. Do you want to know what's missing? Me giving a shit. Okay, this shit's, uh, it's over. Uh, that was, that was Lords of Chaos. Let me shut this fucking turd off. Wow. Where to even begin? I, I'm at a loss here. Uh, that 
this has officially dethroned August Underground's Mortem as the worst film I've seen on Movie Night with Zack. Let me just take a second here. <sighs> okay. So I was well aware now that this was not going to be accurate to what, you know, what it's based on at all. But there were a couple things, apparently, according to my friend uh, Dylan, who's the one that suggested this. Uh, the, the scene where Varg, or not, excuse me, not Varg, Euronymous uses um, Dead's bones to make a necklace, I, I know for a fact that that's spot on, so that was a nice little touch. Um, the Some of the cinematography in regards to shots of the churches and shots of the lake uh, with the island in the middle and whatnot all looked really good as far as cinematography. Everything else about this movie fails miserably uh, the acting performances from every actor minus the blonde girl the the love interest of Euronymous she actually wasn't too bad uh, I don't actually remember her like her character being a real person in regards to this story but uh regardless um she her the actress that played her did a really good job where I it's Rory Culkin's performance in this movie that I absolutely just loathed throughout this the entirety of this film. This has got to be the worst performance I've ever seen Rory Culkin give. And I hate saying that because I like Rory Culkin. I love his brother too, but I like Rory Culkin better than Macaulay Culkin. This movie, however, this he he was he just phoned it in this whole movie. I get that he's supposed to be playing like this character that's kind of awkward and he's not all there in the head, but I just didn't buy his performance at all. And same with the guy that played Varg. He was, it was not that, it's just his performance. I just, I, I found everybody's acting to be wooden. There was no, there's no character to any of it. There was no emotion or anything. It was just stiff wooden acting from almost everybody in the film. And, well, I, I think maybe I got my expectations a little too in a certain area where I was, ex I guess I was expecting this to be a uh, horror thriller, like the thing labeled that as, the uh, streaming service labeled it as a horror thriller. This was more of a dark drama, if anything. But, I threw out, especially in the middle of the film... I didn't, I didn't really get that sense of dark drama. I got just a bunch of inane bullshit of just people going, Look at us! Hail Satan! Hell yeah! And they're uh, just dancing around uh, this re-recorded... To re-recorded versions of songs that were really good that sound like shit. They, they uh, re-recorded uh, Freezing Moon by Mayhem, which is my favorite Mayhem song, and it sounded like shit. And I know why, because the bands, none of the bands would allow, allow this movie to use their music. So, and I don't blame those bands at all, at all, at all. I wouldn't want my music in this shitty movie. But, uh, yeah, I really did not like Lords of Chaos. It was really bad. Really, really, really bad. Even some of the editing choices and the, um, cinematography when we're focused on the characters just looked bad just looked amateurish that's what it feels like a really really amateur film and it's kind of, it's got that indie vibe it's it's an indie film but uh it felt like some pretentious art house trash and i'm a, i'm normally somebody that likes art house films this is this is this kind of art house tr pretentious art house bullshit that i don't like I just really, guys, Lords of Chaos just really did not do anything for me. Um, I, I, know, I, I know that there's a lot of fans within the metal community and the black metal, the black metal community as well that loathe this movie. And 
there's people that I, me friends I've made in the metal community that weren't assholes because a lot of metal community people, people in the metal community can be uh, little whiny babies. And I'm, I know I'm risking this, putting this video out because black metal fans in particular can be pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty hostile. So I'm taking a big risk making this video and I really don't care what some, uh, some dude sitting in his mom's basement listening to some some uh fucking shitty black metal that sounded like it was recorded out of a toilet and they think they're evil and sh i really don't care what somebody like that thinks about this video from a filmmaking perspective this was not a very good film in my personal opinion this was just this movie had a lot of flaws there was it was slow it there was just too much time of nothing happening um there was some good gory killing in this movie there's some pretty pretty brutal brutal gore in this movie and that stuff is pretty pretty good the the effects team did a good job with dead kill uh committing suicide and i forget the name of the guy stabbing the guy that tries to confront him outside and uh i guess the one i wasn't crazy about was varg killing euronymous i just wasn't crazy about that i don't rory culkin wasn't selling it very well I just wasn't believe he was, I just didn't believe, I wasn't in belief that Rory Culkin was being stabbed and being brutally murdered. I, it just, I don't know, I, I just really, I was really disappointed in Rory Culkin's performance in this movie. But uh, yeah, can I, uh, overall, can I recommend Lords of Chaos? No, I can't recommend this to anybody. Um, if you were to watch it, don't pay for it. Just wait till it comes to Netflix if it's not already on Netflix. I don't know. I don't have Netflix. Or find it and stream it illegally or something. I don't know. Don't actually do that. Don't act, please don't actually do that. But, uh, yeah, no. I, I, can't, I can't justify spending money watching this film. I can't recommend this film to anybody. So, overall, I say skip this one, guys. This was not a very good movie, so... So I want to give a big thanks to my buddy Dylan for uh, requesting this movie. Dude, thank you. I've always been a little bit curious about this movie, but I didn't quite like it. I, I just I didn't quite like the movie at all. But uh, uh, I'm glad you did. And anybody else who enjoys the movie, I'm glad you did as well. It's just I didn't personally. But uh, uh, I'll be taking requests down in the comments. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll make a deal with you guys. There was a film that came out back when I was a kid. I was about seven or eight when this movie came out. And it revolves around talking chihuahuas. If you can name that that film in in the comments, then I will do it uh, as the next episode of Movie Night with Zach. So if you can name that movie about the talking chihuahuas, it'll be the next Movie Night with Zach. So I doubt you guys will be... I, I doubt you guys know what I'm talking about, but just if you can... If you can think of it, I will do it. Promise you. But I don't think you guys will know what the fuck I'm talking about. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'm out. Peace.